All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And today we're going to look at the new completed Nature House build. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so real quickly before we go show off the new house um i finally figured out the flashlight and the vacuum cleaner uh with the assistance of nathan um <laughs> what i was doing wrong was that they have to be charged in the medium voltage so you put your vacuum cleaner in and you'll see the green bar and it's topping off and you're good to go. What does that do? Well, so let's uh, let's drop that. What is it doing? Let's go pick up the vacuum cleaner. And yeah, um, it works. And a quick addendum: almost forgot that if you have an object. Thank, uh, this is a form post by Michael. If you have an object in here, you can use World Edit by selecting a area, going into your terminal, and slash slash clear ob clear objects one word, and they're gone. They're gone. And reset area, reset region, and they're gone. Now for the flashlight, the flashlight, you, you charge up also in the medium voltage. And it's always on. So if it's in your hot bar, it's always on. Even if you're not on it. So as you can see, I'm going through my, my little hot bar inventory. So... It is always going to stay on. Now, that causes a little bit of a problem because if I go to daytime and go back in, turn off the lights, it's still on. And that kind of slows everything down. So I would personally stay with... The uh, wheeled light mod that I that I put in uh, a couple videos ago, because that one it only goes on when you hover over when you select over a light source. So obviously that hampers your ability to build, but it goes away. So let's turn the lights on here, and watch this. This is curling and mind test a new a new Olympic sport. So. And then you have somebody ahead of it, you know, oh, look at that. They're sweeping. <laughs> I, I told you, told you last video, it's the, it's the, um, it's the simple things that, uh, yeah. <laughs> that. Oh, okay. Let's go look at the new house. That's what everybody wanted to see. <laughs> Go from there. So as I walk into the walls here, I put in a new, oh, look at that doorway. To match all the other doorways, turned out cool. Do I want to go this? No, I don't want to go this way. Let's go this way. Might as well get the full, full experience. All right. I have to do something about this light. So you come up the driveway here. Look at that. Look at all the changes. The landscaping. Completely redid the landscaping. All the way to the to the um to the art house. All that's landscaped. So, Mr. Turtle, you come over here and you can enter the garage through player detector and gate module. That works perfect. But we're going to come in 
through the front of the house. And there she is, or he is, depending on what you want to use. Cleaned up all the, the land. Nice little stair inlay. Let's go up and see what we got. So, yeah, this was a little challenging. Hey, Mr. Horsey, a little, I'm going to fly through a tree. Of course I'm going to fly through a tree. When have I not flown through a tree? So we put in some patios. I, complete, I closed off this area over here. Better for the TV. All the landscaping I changed. I moved the desert back a little bit. And it turned out, I think, pretty cool and not too sure about those hedges have a new uh, little atrium area and I left some little imperfections why not but all that was changed so let's go in and this area here this is like the wooded area and I, I opened this back up to make it um, into an outdoor room and close it off, but left the, another tree. That's a big tree. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And left it like that. So let's go in the house. Oh, stairs turned out pretty cool. Just an inlay with different, different uh, cuts of stair. I like it. So you come in here, main entrance, and you have the beautiful uh, atrium, a little swimming pool going on, some grassy areas. Very cool. Got bees because a bee's nest has appeared out of nowhere. Over here you have first of many prerequisite bathrooms. Nice. And you have the outdoor area, which is also controlled by a player detector and a gate controller. Very cool. It's like a Star Trek house. So we have this outdoor area, fire pit. Very nice. Beautiful views. Cool. Come back through here. Go down to the garage. And there's the, there's the player detector there. And we have our assortment of tools and stuff you'd find in a garage. Back here, we have a full bathroom. For the, you know, if you're going to work in a garage, you're going to get dirty. We have washer, utility room set up. Cool. And I, I really do like the garage like that. In real, in, in real life, I, I kind of would like something like that. Yeah. So we come back up here and we go to the other side and nothing changed. Just a normal pool. Like it was last time. Cut gates automatically doors automatically open. We have this beautiful garden area with sunlight. Skylight. Yeah. And nice views and put a little partition in, give it some color, little seating area. Very cool. Come back out here to the patio area. Everything just beautiful views. Everything just fits. Yeah, dining room set. Cool. And we have the kitchen. And I, I went with all the furniture mod stuff, even though I'm not too high on the color. But this kind, this works. I'm real happy with how that turned out. Prerequisite coffee. And a little storage area back there. Got to have the waffle maker and the toaster. Yep, everybody needs that. Got some herbs growing here. Very nice. Then you come down here, you got, got the sunken living room. Not really too, um, it works. I hit the mic. <laughs> so got a nice spacious living room. Home theater set up. Stereo system in a rack that squeaks. The only thing I'd like to do is I'd like to be able... Now, if I had something behind this wall, I probably could have done something with this. And what I mean by that is we have we have that. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Oh, 
you know what? Did that that might actually work out in my favor because okay so generally if there's nothing behind there now this is probably going to look probably not going to look the way I want it however see now that looks good because you have a full cabinet here but what it does on the outside let's see how badly we can see that not too bad. Actually, you wouldn't you wouldn't have noticed it if I didn't say anything. And usually what I would do in that case is I would take a like this spruce block here and we can go up and we can just put it on there and then take the screwdriver and turn it. No, that's not the screwdriver. I, I, yeah, I know, I messed up. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. There you go. So you can take the screwdriver like that. It will put a little bump on there, but so if I didn't have that hedge there, that's an idea. There we go. Now we're back to normal. That's, I don't know what that sheep is doing. I don't want to know. Okay. So we're back in here. So now we have our completed home stereo system. And I really, I really like how I, make these um, cabinets. I made a wine cabinet or like a curio cabinet in, in the, um, oh, the sandstone house, which turned out really good. But unfortunately, you have to use the blocks behind it. So if it's a single wall, it's going to add a little bit of an issue there. But the uh, bushes outside covered it up. So that's the living room. Cool, beautiful views. Yeah. Then we come up here. This is the first bedroom. Got a, yeah, got a wardrobe, some books going on, a little computer work center. Very nice little rug, different. Tried, I tried to add as much color as I could in, in here because the layout, I'll show you how I started with the layout. So everything works except for that. I still haven't fixed that. That's the bedroom and that's the, either the guest bedroom or, uh, you know, kids' bedroom. I like the contrast with the wall. Art. Here's another bathroom. Cool. And then we have the back patio off of the office. Hey, Mr. Sheep. And just the views. And I added some trees. I tried not going overboard. But I did close this up. Yeah, I didn't put a um, handles on that one. I gotta fix that. So we have a little office area for a nice home office. Beautiful views. Come over here to the master bedroom, and it's simple. It's simplistic, Min minimalistic. <laughs> and there's a wardrobe area here uh, for hanging clothes and changing. Nice bathroom, sun's going down. Yeah. So that works. And then we have a bathroom out here for all the you know the guests or anybody in the house. So I'm real happy how this turned out. And unfortunately, I, I couldn't do any kind of chandelier or lighting system because I only I kept this three high. And I think. That turned out fine. So nice hidden kitchen. No kitchen island on this one. But it doesn't need it. And it, it turned out. Turn the TV off. Come on. There. Save, you know, save on power. So. That's a look at. And then I got to fix those blocks over there. Those are like some kind of. I hate these sunflowers. What do I have to put fake grass everywhere? The thing is, is, they don't do like one or two. I'll come back and there will be hundreds of these sunflowers. And, you know, like the poison ivy, which I had to get rid of. They just won't. Um, they won't go away after you after you remove them. I think that should be an option that. You know, you, you remove it 
that it won't place it again in the same place. And because this was a desert and I changed it all to grass, you guessed that we have these dead grass coming in. Well, that's not very nice. So depending now, this is the Digtron light, which isn't putting off a lot of light. So if I change that with the, um, the other light, look how much more light that is. Hi, Mr. Kitty. Hi, Mr. Kitty. I already tamed him. But I really like how, how that turned out. It's just a very peaceful area. It's a big house. Got some chairs going on. We can turn off the light. See, that's what I like about that wielding, that wheeled light is it's on. So, you know, it works, but then you can turn it off. And if you're going to be building in an area, you're going to place a light anyway. I mean, you, you know, you're, you're going to put a light in. I love that light. So, there you have it. I love those, the uh, stain, the um, stained glass. So it turned out, it turned out really, really cool. And I wish there was a better way of doing the uh, garage door. Um, I like having control over it. However, with the player detector, you can specify a player's name and of who to look for and who not to look for. So I could, I could have like a security of, well, it's just me. If this is a multi multi server, um, a multiplayer server, but since it's just me, yeah. And there you have it. Looks really, really cool. And I really like this atrium. I really want to try, the um try doing the biodome too that's over in Arizona. I think that would be really cool. And I love skylights. And of course I'm gonna tweak <laughs> do more tweaking on this house. You know, it, it oh, there we go. Wait a minute, I turned it off. There we go. So yeah. What is that? Throw that meat away. I don't know. I kind of like that there. It kind of lights up the yard. But then again, it's not supposed to be there. So let. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. I think they uh, certain ores will. Um, certain ores will be in like pairs. So that's how that works. I am using the heck out of that that replacer tool. There's a couple more over there. No, no, those are the lights from the... Um, those are the lights. That's glow dust. The lights from the... Um, oh, what is it? The, the apple orchard. Hi, Mr. Horsey. No apples today. I already tamed you. So that's a look at the new nature house. I am... Ha I, I like everything about it. The front, it kind of looks like a, a, a weird kind of government building, but it works. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And so you have the you have the front entrance here, and then this butts right up into the water inlet for the lake. This is cool, and then it goes directly over to. The art house with the with the art, and there you have it. So that's going to um, that's going to do it for this episode. As you can see, obviously, I like bringing nature in because you know what? Why not? I I really do think that's an important aspect in a house is bringing nature in. 
and we're back where we started. So there you have it. So that, that looked at the flashlight and the, um, how to make the flashlight work. And I had to go into the config file. I had gone into the flashlight.lua file and added it to creative inventory because it will not show up in your creative inventory. But as Nathan pointed out, you also have to go into the config. And so, oh, real quickly, this is how I laid out my, usually what I do on a, when I lay out my rooms is is put a base blocks in here to get a layout to get a to get a feel of the layout like here is the kitchen and the pantry bathroom master um master bedroom uh the the changing area the bathroom the office uh general bathroom bathroom for this bedroom yeah that's how that works so <laughs> but as nathan pointed out in the um in the mods, uh, if we go into, um, what mod was that? Holy cow, that was Technic. If we go in, in Technic, now my Technic is in Dream Builder. So if I go into Technic and there are tools, there's Technic, tools, there's the vacuum, there's the flashlight. So in here, I turned on to add it into, um, to add it in to inventory because it, it shows, uh, show in creative inventory or do, uh, uh, not show in creative inventory zero or one meaning true. Do not show it in creative inventory. And I changed that to the opposite, which showed it in the hot bar. So on here though, you have to go into the main config.lua. And here, here we have enable flashlight false. So if you do want to use the flashlight, you have to go into this config.lua and change that to true. And I am going to get rid of that because I really don't want to use that. Um, nothing against the mod person, but I don't like how it stays on if it's in your hotbar the bar at the bottom. I, I don't like how it stays on even in the sunlight. So I do like the wield wielding light mod because that is depending on if you're hovering over it and I know you can't see it. So you, you see it in my hand here and you can see as it's moving as I walk along. Plus there was something about how it, how it actually updates the, the blocks to, and uses the shining uh, the reflective surfaces of, of whatever material. So it's a little bit over my head, but it, it doesn't lag as much as other. See now it turns off and everything is back to normal. So yeah, I like that. So that's going to do it for this episode. I want to keep it short because I've been doing some very long episodes and there. So thank you very much for joining. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do for my next build, but we'll figure out something. <laughs> so <laughs> like we're going to go over to the fire tower, put the titanium suit on, jump way up in the air and then parachute down. There you go. That is it. I love that parachute in the wings. So there you have it. So that's going to do it. Thank you very much for joining and um, everybody have a fantastic week until the next video. Goodbye.